We are examining women and their bad behavior, as you may or may not be able to see it. Some of you are involved in it. Some of you are looking to strive toward it. And the rest of you are just not interested, but you're the ones that are either the victims, you're participating in it, you're brainwashed. The list goes on and on and on. It's all communism. It's all off of the backs of the innocent and really the infancies, the infants, the children. It's funny because I just showed a picture of this one little girl who's actually a villain and she thinks she's like 25 years old, but she's only like 10. And her mother has allowed her to abuse millions of people. So I, we're actually evaluating the Ponzi scheme as a group of people, a cluster. And we wanna talk about the cluster of people as organized crime who are all doing the same thing and have strong conviction of utilizing vulnerabilities of people. They're better looking than you. They have more money than you. They do more travel than you. And they have very rich husbands who give them praise and kudos. And then in the group, they are told how wonderful they are constantly. And then they are told by bots and followers how great they are. That's their confidence. However, there is something about that that is completely sadistic that nobody really wants to take a look at. They want to tell you, don't care what people think or be the bigger person. Think about that as a logical conversation, a practical conversation, a fact that you are, we're in the survival of the fit. I'm friendly from the, from the pod. What do they want from you? Well, they want me to buy their product and they want me to look and sound as if I'm learning from them. And then as soon as you say that I'm not learning or that you're, you as the person who's, in, who's the one saying that you're delivering on an audience, as soon as I tell you how you're not delivering, you then send the, the pod after this particular person and silence them into submission. You might even M-U-R-D-E-R them. You'll definitely put them in despair and depression. At least try to if you're a weak woman or a weak man. You may or may not fall for it. However, there will always be an underlining essence of the white, of the white dress, the white outfit. Because that's all they do is they wear a white dress or a white outfit to tell you how clean they are. And wave it in the air like they did at Mona Van's engagement party. E. Wow, that's so fun. <laughs> in America, we don't like that. In America, we don't like uh, this movement. That's not American. That's ugly dancing. We don't like the way Persians behave, nor do we like the way they look. We don't really like the Middle East, considering 9-11 actually happened in this lifetime. We also don't like the Middle East because 13 American soldiers died in Afghanistan because of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Although Kamala Harris is doing brand deals and business deals with influencers, as well as the Middle East, as we know that Gary Vaynerchuk with Motivan has traveled quite often to Qatar, and so has Bella Dolan. So has Beyonce, who's very, very close with Obama, who is Middle Eastern. Now, where were we? We were talking about the cluster. Fruit. Oh, Oh, I'm sorry. I was demonstrating the erotica behavior of a mentally ill child named Mona Van that she posted during the weekend of VCon. Uh, fruit. Ew. Wow, that's so educational of Eat Clean. Wow, you're so intelligent. Eat Clean. <laughs> what do you do with a napkin? You wipe your mouth. 
What color's toilet paper? It's white. So what do you do with toilet paper? You wipe your ass. So they take their dirty, their dirty white shit, their toilet paper, and they wear it. And then they wave it around. And look, look, mommy, I wipe my own ass. Get out of the picture. <laughs> Yo, mommy, I wiped my own ass. She walk. It's got poopy on it. Where were we? Oh, we were talking about the cluster. See, they like to think that they're going to come in and put you through some days of hell, like the Economic Forum of New York City. However, I handed you your ass today, didn't I? You're, cro you're crooked, you're criminal, you've met Mona Van in person because Gary Vaynerchuk has taken her to events where you all have been and you looked at her and you acted like she was the victim. Didn't you? And I'm the American and obviously those of you sitting at the table in the economic forum are not American. You're Chinese and you're only out for the terrorism of this country, which is what I'm exposing. You want to remember that I know a lot of your comrades, very wealthy individuals all across this country, specifically here in my local area, who have a lot more money than you, who are a lot more structured, and I used to have long conversations with them about things. You know, like real conversations, not weird-ass personalities like you all contain out of New York City. However, none of you are actually from New York City. Anyway, let's get back to what I was talking about, about this pod. And I'm going to be doing a video shortly about a woman in a big boobed bra that's really unprofessional. But in her mind, she's selling bras. I don't want to get too much into it because I want to spend a lot of time on evaluating. So here we go. Here is the control group of the VCon speakers. You're just peons who they're teaching you about being happy and kind and joyous. They have all this fake confidence that's not real education. They don't embody confidence. They just teach revenge, abuse, Low self-esteem, just cover it up with makeup and hair, and then say words like joy and happiness, and do it with a Hollywood smile. You're from Nebraska. So is that compassion and empathy? 